Hi there, so you have a flute. Um, your flute comes in a case like this, or in a slightly different case that I'll show you in a second. Um, it has a serial number on, that should be your serial number, you can check your uh, paperwork, it should have it on. When you open the case, like this, um, you'll see that it comes in three pieces. Now there's three pieces on the flute, uh, there's the mouthpiece, there is the middle joint right there with all the complicated bits on, and there's the foot joint there. Um, when you put the flute together, it should really just slide together really easily like this. Um, you shouldn't have to push or anything like that too hard. Um, if it's slightly sort of tight, you can twist it a little bit, uh, but don't rock it. Don't go uh, 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 trying to get it in like that because you're going to bend it and it's not going to be very good for the instrument or for the way you sound on it as well. Um, when you're playing like this, when you're practicing, uh, if you want to have a little break uh, or anything like that, make sure you put it away somewhere safe. Don't ever balance it like this because it falls over like that. Don't do that. Um, put it away somewhere safe. Don't put it on a chair or on a sofa because someone might sit on it. Don't you know? Make sure your little brother can't get its hands on it and knock it at the end of the t uh, on the end of the table and things like that. Uh, just be uh, reasonably sensible about the whole thing, and you'll have a lot of fun for a long time with this thing. Um, if you want to clean it. After a while, don't use anything wet. So don't uh, don't you know dunk it in water or anything like that. Um, just use a cloth, a normal cloth, um, like an old tea towel or something like that. Don't use um, cloths with like silver polish or brass polish or anything like that because eventually that's going to uh, here mess up the connection and it's not going to really be very tight and very very nice anymore. Uh, also, don't use a yellow duster because they get all flaky and you get little bits of yellow fluff all the way through the instrument. It's just a bit messy. Um, if something isn't right with the instrument, uh, what you do is you talk to your teacher first. Uh, because your teacher may know a secret. Um, it may be uh, that you don't have your fingers in the right place. Maybe there's something wrong with your arm or sure. Maybe there is actually something wrong with the instrument. Now, when there's something actually wrong with the instrument, um, the teacher will tell you to come back to us. And we can either make a repair or replace it, or we, we, we sort things out for you always, of course. You're never, never going to be without a flute. Um, sometimes, for people who are, well, not as tall as I am, and we also hand out these flutes. They are for smaller people. Let's see if you can see the difference there. This one, of course, is a curved head flute. Which means that if you are smaller, you don't have to go lot to play, but it's much easier and much closer. Uh, those are available upon request. Uh, we can usually sort you out as you come in. Uh, more information, check the links in the description. Um, if you like us, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to our channel. And uh, I will see you again in the next video. Bye bye.